Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Wheat Field. Welcome to the Wheat Field. This is your girl, Lati, and uh, we coming through with another channel message. I pray that you guys are well, that you are resurrected into the day, and uh, it's beautiful that you're having a great time. I am a channeled messenger. Yes, I am. I channel with the Most High God, the source of all, and its infinite intelligence, understanding that it's breath of life binds us and it is a force it is uh yeah and it's pretty significant pretty awesome to be able to do that to be endowed with the gift and i am so grateful and thankful yeah definitely on a double mission yeah definitely on a double mission to edify self sources put that back on the table to edify self and edify others right so that we can unite and be edifying onto the source because we the wheat baby that's what's been revealed onto me so uh yeah we got some cards out. Spirit said put that down. I don't know why you keep trying to put that card back in there. We got some cards out. We got a couple of decks. We gonna run through them. You know, I just want to let you know who I am real fast because just in case you don't want to stay in my space, this is an opportunity for you to click off. You know what I mean? Because this might not be for everybody. Again, I'm a channel messenger. I sit with the most high God, but at the same time, I cuss. I drink. You know what I mean? I sing. I use text. I mean, I use multiple texts. I mean, like every text that I can get my hand on. And whatever spirit takes me to to read from, that's what I read from. I mean, I'm surrendered to say and do what the source says to do so that's just what it is if you can rock with your girl and you want to hang around please do if you like the vibe subscribe if you care about the messages share them out you know what i mean that's just how it go and if you really like it you want to come in and sit for a spell like anytime we do this thing hit that little noti bell too it'll notify you every time we throw one of these things up so with all of that being said let's jump on into these cards okay <laughs> i had to get that set Pear mimosa today, baby. So good, so good, so good. Mm. I'm grateful for that. Sun shining. It's fall, you know what I mean? I can do a little bit of layers, you know, can't do too much. You got to put still something on, but shit, you can still get that little bit of summertime feel. You know how it is before that winter get on up in here. Ooh, it's going to get cold. I do. I feel like, I feel it. I've been saying that too. It's going to get cold. Winter is coming. Y'all see that spirit just throw the card all over the floor. I throw cards. I keep the camera. I do all kinds of stuff, y'all. It's happening. That's what Spirit said. Keep holding the vision. Yes. A new earth. Woo. Come on. Double mission light worker star seed. Serve the world by being you. I say. Did y'all see that the first time? We got to get that back in there. Yes. Double mission. A new earth. Huh. Didn't I just say we out here to edify self and edify others? But, huh, beloved, it is a whole lot of y'all out there. And it is. It's a whole lot of people doing stuff different. You know what I mean? Just being their whole unique self. Understanding that, you know, it's a job to do here. We're supposed to be learning. We're supposed to be growing. And there's a lot of information out here now, especially with YouTube and everything. People putting out the information so that folks can see how all these pieces come together. The fullness of the Most High God. Yes, I believe that. I do. Because this is where testimony meets Tarot. It is. We testify on a daily, and we let the cards come out and affirm what we're talking about. We let the cards come out and affirm what the text says. We let the multiple texts affirm each itself all over the place. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we do. The cosmic heart. Yes. Devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Oh, yes. We sitting up here talking about how the Most High God is everywhere and how we got all this information on the Most High God and all of this stuff. And we can seek, you know, all the time diligently. And as you do that and you commune in the Spirit and you are always talking to the Father, asking for revelation, you make your life a prayer. You do. Because prayer is not just getting on your knees and, Oh, thou Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is not all just that beloved it is how you talk to him like on that adam walk like yo father what's up how you doing you know what i mean we here today what is it that you would have us to do oh it's breakfast time we hungry what would you like to eat father you know what i mean oh it's um you know i it, it's nice outside what you want to do father you want to go ahead and do some skating or, you know what do you want to do yeah remember huh we was just talking about all this information out here on YouTube, talking about the fullness of the Most High God. It's calling us into remembrance. It's a lot of people waking up, you know what I mean? And, and understanding that is more. There is more. You know, it's more. Soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. 
are you remembering yeah because somebody is definitely on a devil mission a light worker light seed light worker star seed serve the world by just being you huh who else could you be you can't be nobody else because that's an exercise of futility ah you know huh and then he says devotion potency maybe you are a devoted person maybe you are super devoted like to the most high god maybe you are you know and you make your life a living prayer like all you do is commune in the spirit you know like i said on that adam walk or you know on that eve walk yeah because she got to walk too you know going back through them archives it's creating new earth it's happening it's happening now it is keep holding on to your vision but remember who you are you know, and that's where meditation comes in. Yeah, soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. Whoo, Father. I'm going to have to go back and understand that. What's the faded life versus the destiny life? Mm. Should we get the book and re look that up? Nah. What do you focus on? Soul plan. Okay. Because, yeah, we have a contract before we come down here. You know how you say, oh, we came down here to do a thing, to do a work. Yeah, you did. You did, beloved. You really did. And uh, is there anything else in here? No. Okay, I check. You really did come to uh, do a work. And we have to come into remembrance about what that is. We go through our whole life taking on conformities from babes all the way up until adulthood. And you get to a point where you start to come into remembrance or the adversities of life push you into remembrance, right? Let me get that sip. The adversities of life push you into remembrance because they drive you into self. Yeah, they do. They drive you into self. Thank you, Father. I had to get that breath on there, that animating force. Yes. Put the spirit on these cards. Put the spirit on them. That's right. That's right. I call into the whole infinite, the whole infinite, the whole infinite intelligence to use these cards as tools to bring the messages to your wheat field. Thank you so much. This wheat that you're speaking to is on a double mission, right? They are a devotee. They pray they are on that eve walk that adam walk i feel yes 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 and spirit says keep holding your vision you're creating something new right it's happening just hold on to the vision and it's a part of your soul plan it's part of your purpose for coming for when you a piece of heaven touch down on earth huh because just shouldn't y'all didn't know heaven is here hmm. it is you come from heaven you a soul from heaven and heaven is on earth it touched earth it comes to earth so that it can do the will of the father it does and uh it's time to remember you know what your soul plan is so that you become activated and and, and work in 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 that arena do you want this no okay Okay, Father, what card would you like to clarify? What would you like to bring to your field? What is it that you would like to say? Say What is it that they cannot, cannot see? This one, okay. Confidence. Having confidence. Confidence is the key to your success. And Spirit says it's in the reverse. So Spirit pulls the cards in a certain direction. That's the way that I read it. That's the way I place it on the table. So, pardon for that. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum, Spirit says. The energy about what you're doing is gaining momentum, but it's Spirit placed it on the table in a challenge. Like, either it's not gaining momentum or it's kind of stuck, stagnant, I feel. And it's kind of drudging, trudging. It's kind of feeling like when you start a, start a small business and you're really trying to get that thing off the ground and you know that this is what you're supposed to do. But the fact that it grows so slowly really kind of takes and knocks a hit at your confidence, right? Knocks a hit at your confidence. And, and, and you have to figure out ways to gain the momentum. Maybe it's more things that you can do in terms of marketing or partnership, partnering with others. Or just, you know, being patient, I feel. Sometimes it's just patient to sit back. Spirit set me back like, huh, it might just be patient. Just sit back and let things work out, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A time to give rather than to take. Time to give some time. Time to let it work out, I feel. 
you know don't try to take off and rush and do too much because you can you can mess it up or have an adverse impact to what it is that you're looking to acquire or to do or to build right so give and rather time to give rather than to take that's in a challenge yeah yeah anything to say about that spirit Yeah, that's what I was feeling. Source says to be patient. Yeah. Surrender to the divine. Surrender it over to the source. Right? And maybe that's a part of the issue. Do you want this? This? No. Okay. Not surrendering over to the divine. Not surrendering. Maybe you're trying to rush and do it all yourself. You know what I mean? Like, what what can I do? How can I do? How can I do? Well, how could I do? And and maybe the answer is to go within and meditate and have Source guide you on how to do this thing. Because if it's a part of your soul plan, then of course the Infinite, first of all, knows what it is that you need to do. Yeah, we it do. The infinite knows, and the infinite is the one that's giving you the intention and the desire, the inkling to do the thing. It's nudging and nudging and nudging at you because you're supposed to do it. And don't put yourself in a situation where you, again, a part of the human being, being a spiritual essence, us being spiritual, and sitting in a human vessel. What a part of that condition is overanalyzing and overthinking and we can overanalyze and overthink ourselves out of the right thing to do or the right way to move or we will overthink so much until we stagnate ourselves and feel like it's too big it's insurmountable i can't face this i can't do it right um looking at the challenges versus just keeping your eye on the vision i feel yes thank you i don't know how you and your loved ones are safe um feeling in reverse maybe you don't feel safe maybe you feel this is going to open you up to some sort of exposure or to some sort of risk you know not for sure what it is that you're building that week but you might be feeling like you know this could have an impact to my family it could have an impact do you want this do you want this yeah yeah goodness your dreams need a practical plan your dreams need to be have a practical plan and maybe that's the part of what you need to be working on because spirit is pulling it in the reverse. You know, maybe you're not working on the practicality of the plan or you think like, you know, this microwave generation, we feel like everything is supposed to be, you know, today. Like I, I'm here and I'm popped off and y'all supposed to be like, uh, uh, uh customers flowing in, subscriptions flowing in. It takes time, y'all. We It does. It takes time. It does. Nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing is yet set in stone. Spirit put that in a challenge. It is. Is there anything else in this deck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. Maybe, again, if you're starting something new, you've got an inkling and a desire to do something. You could be doing something that's already present in the marketplace, right? And when you start doing it, you can look at and see, you know, oh... This is how it's done, or this is how they do it, and this is how they do it. Oh, I'm making cupcakes, and this is a cupcake shop, and this is a bakery place, and then this is how they do it, and this is how they do it, and this is how they do it. And instead of you just authentically being yourself, I feel like it come out, out of you, and you be your own niche, you kind of taking on conformities, again, of other people who are doing that thing. And it's not really your real you. So it's time to give rather than to take. Yeah, give you. Not taking on the essence of others. Give you. Time to give you. Yeah. Show the world the real you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is. And maybe that's why the source is on you about doing that thing. Because you're going to do it in a way that uh, is way different than what's already out there. Is there anything else in this deck? No. Thank you. So source says now we're going to work some light. Yeah. So we looked at some star seed. We looked at what might be behind the scenes, hidden by the moon, what could be down in there that you might need to deal with. We see some confidence issues, the ability to be authentic, show your, the world the real you. But nothing is set in stone yet. Father said you might need to surrender, go into some meditation and just surrender that thing and, and see how it is that the Father is going to work to through you and with you to bring this thing about. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's so many ways to do things these days you know what i mean we can make our own door we don't have to uh do you want this no we don't have to uh we don't have to wait for others you know, we could work in the spirit, access the resources. And I will tell you, spirit will guide you. It will tell you exactly what you need to do, what you need to buy, all of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Warrior woman. Mm. Have you answered your deepest call? And we're sitting up here talking about the father that put something on you, beloved. And what he put on you is what is going to be different from the way that anybody else is doing it. You could be entering to the market entering into a market that is saturated with i don't know how many people's in players but you coming in and doing you and doing it how you're being led to do it to huh yes have you answered your deepest calling do you want this one too okay put that back in it let's give it a shuffle blow some breath on there yes Ooh, heavy i feel that energy father yes i do Mm -hmm. Let me know. Ooh. Transformation, baby. Transformation. Things are ch changing at a cellular... I, I feel deep, deep healing. Deep healing. Things are changing. You want this one, too? Mm -hmm. Do something to change your energy. Maybe you need to get out. We started that with, like, you know, hey, was it this one or the last session? I don't know. But, anywho. Uh, Father checking in uh what do you want to do what do you want to eat what how should we express ourselves today how should we enjoy the opportunity of the day i mean we woke up in the abundance of the plane which is creation itself gave us everything that we would ever need for our experience before it dropped us off in this thing i mean i let he let the grease get hot before he dropped us off in this thing i'm just kidding you know what i mean what i'm saying but it was full it was done it was lush and then he dropped us off in this thing you know and 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 to check in with the father again that adam walked that eve walked you know checking in with the father on a daily basis that adam you know relationship what is it father what should we call this that's what adam said was walking through the garden naming stuff what should we name this father what should we name it? Yes. Sometimes you have to ask the dad. You know, just hey, just like that. Hey, you move, I move. Just like that. When he move, I huh, Cause God get up and walk out of a space. You be talking about some. Uh, put this down, pack it up. Time to go. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, nope. If the father ain't up in there, the spirit. Uh, no. Mm mm. And I'm talking about them high attributes like uh, sympathy, empathy, okay? Communication for understanding and leaning into compromise and compassion. Huh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If we ain't on that path to knowledge, to practice that on a daily basis so we can get on the right way to wisdom, which leads us into peace. Huh, you talking about that whole chapter eight Proverbs. Uh, yeah, we on that. And that uh, whole Genesis 1 through 26 through 30. Yeah, we on that. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, this plane is lush. And it's abundant. And Adam walked with God. And, and they named everything. Everything. And so if you on that walk. And you are that close to the most high. Devoted. Yeah. Devotee. Prayer is your lifestyle. Again, we're not going there. Father, do you want eggs? Yeah. Do you want scrambled or over easy? Over easy. Okay, there we go. Easy, you know. You want a blue jean jacket or do you want a blazer? Blue jean jacket. Okay. Spirit of joy, what shall we do for the rest of the day? Do we want to sit out in the yard and enjoy the sun and tan? Do we want to throw on some roller skates and roll around? Nope. Spirit said we want to sit in the yard, get some get some tan. A little bit of light, you know, sun power. And and, and when you are rocking with the most high like that, hmm, baby, dance with life. Dance and do something to change your energy. Get into the flow. Get into the flow, beloved. Get into the flow. Yes. Is there anything else here, Father? No, well, I'll say to that. Well, I guess that's that reading.
Let him put these up. But Spirit says you are uh, going through a transformation, beloved. You are. And uh, you are a warrior woman. Have you answered your call? You know, maybe this whole thing that you got going on is wrapped up around your calling. And sometimes, you know, when you call to do something, you know, Spirit says, you know, it can take a minute. And confidence is definitely the key. And the main thing Spirit says is that uh, you need a practical plan, beloved. Maybe there's something in your uh, work and, and how you're putting this thing together. You know, you've been inspired to move and you get going with that thing. But somebody working on something. They got a plan. And a, okay. So uh, we'll see how practical it is for us to continue to bring messages out here with all of that going on. But we'll see. Spirit says, remember. Remember your soul plan. Remember. And stay focused on that. Stay focused on that, beloved. Stay focused on what it is that the Spirit has called you to do. Yeah. And when you stay in that arena, you definitely will. Because <clears throat> Spirit says you might be dimming your light to fit in. You might be dimming your light. You might be doing this here, beloved. You may be. Because, again, if you are, I had that energy, that feeling of somebody who has been watching, like, other people do this thing that they are getting ready to do, like, kind of mentoring and learning and, and, and thinking about it. And you might be dimming your own light because you're modeling yourself after others. And you, you, you're built different. You're built to stand out in a different type of way. You know what I mean? So if that is you, beloved, and you're built to stand out and you have this thing on you, that spirit is nudging and nudging and nudging and pushing you to do, to get on out there, to jump out, to step out, you are self-taught and trying to push yourself through this thing and modeling yourself after others. Spirit said, no, let the real you show through, the real you. And, and you get in touch with the real, real, the real, real, real. By going in the kingdom, baby. By taking all of that in and running it up them chakras. Let it sit up in the heavens and have the Holy Father and His infinite intelligence drop that download on you. And then you can let it sit in this space and have it discerned and so you can push that shit out. Yeah, we okay? So that's what you're going to, I mean, that's a recommendation. Can't tell you shit fuck thing to do because, you know, it just is. Spirit says we have free will. So everything is a recommendation. Why do we recommend? Because we love you. I love you. I love you just like I love me. I do. I do. I love you just like I love me. And I love me because I love the source, the most high God that made all of us, that cr created everything. Like all of creation did it create. What the hell is that? <gasps> it's a, is that a beaver? It's a fucking beaver y'all i swear to god i have never seen a beaver in real life outside of the zoo it fucking just ran across the street in the yard that's freaking awesome <laughs> imagine what you could see today because i just saw a beaver run across the street in somebody's yard i thought they supposed to be down by the water making dams and shit i don't i don't where do beavers go in the winter time i don't know maybe that's what they looking for I don't know, because winter is coming, y'all. Winter's coming. Until the next now, with your girl, Lati, on tears and wheat tomorrow. Ashe. Mwah.